Hey, what's up? This is Eric from Testament, and you're watching Loud TV. You're watching! 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 So last time we were in Tourbus and uh, it was in Paris, Elise Montmartre. Okay. And it was a fucking weird situation because we were at the very beginning of the COVID. And so oh. we didn't know how to, what, how to the behavior, behavior to gather, you yeah. know? Uh, is yeah. it just uh, Well, uh, it was like a cold, you know, like people were getting sick. I think when we got to Paris, uh, every, everywhere we went, uh, when we left the city, the cities were getting closed down. And uh, I think when we got to Paris was one of the last ones before we went to the UK. Um, but yeah, it was, man, it was a crazy time. Yeah. Yeah. And do you remember Will from Death Angel? Yeah. Just came back to the US and almost yeah. died, you he know? Yeah, almost died, yeah. Everybody got sick on my bus. Um, Alex and myself, we didn't. I didn't get sick. Um, uh, later, like about a year later, my daughter got sick, and I didn't. I didn't get sick. I don't know. There's like the asystematic or something or whatever it's called. Um, I don't know. Has it changed something in uh, today in your everyday life or on everyday? Uh, yeah, on, on tour bus or stuff like this. Um, no, not really. I'm. You know, we're we're just a little bit more careful. You know. Maybe we don't sneeze on each other or caught. We're more like, <coughs> yeah, a little bit more careful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you were again on tour with uh, your friends. I suppose that your friends, Death Angel. Yeah. <laughs> In the yeah, US. Yeah, we just finished, but we're getting ready to go to Asia. And we're doing uh, Japan, uh, Thailand, Philippines, Bangkok, and a couple other uh, countries over there. But it's going to be Exodus, Death Angel, and Testament. Yeah. Is so this this will be the last of the uh, the Bay, Bay Strikes Back. Yeah. So this is the end of the world tour for this amazing album released three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You know there was a big gap because of because of COVID. Um, but now we're getting ready after, probably after this tour, to go start working on new material. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, we have like about five, six songs written already and um, probably try to finish it up when I get home. And then hopefully record right after we go on tour to Japan. So 24 should look like a release for, for Testament. La last time I, I talked to you about um I can't, sorry, I can't remember the the, the fast song on the on, on your previous album. It was uh, you know Osiris. Yeah, qu quite black metal almost. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Well, because I c and you know yeah. it's good to have good surprises. You know, <coughs> to be surprised by an artist, you know, and maybe to to be surprised by yeah. yourself. All that wasn't planned out. It was just there are parts where musically, because I do Dragon Lord. So I, I've incorporated a little bit of that into Testament, and um, I remember when that part came up, Chuck's like, huh, I'm like, and then I would go in there and go, ah, like this, you know, and he's like, you do it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll do it. Um, Titans of Creation was absolutely a masterpiece. Oh, thank you. How do you find the inspiration to create new stuff? Um, you know, I just, I think there's all kinds of things. I mean, just life in general, you know, uh, horror flicks, uh, certain movies, um, just being a fan still of, of metal, you know, music. Um, um, just be, I, you know, I mean, if that's a hard question, but at the same time, um, I feel like everybody in the band, we all feel lucky that we're still doing this after 30 years and still relevant, you know? I mean, even though sometimes we open for new bands, we're like, but we're still, we're here, you know? I mean, it's 30 years later. Um, so that that's kind of inspiration to try to write something that's really, you know, really cool, heavy, I guess. Because in, I guess. 
many many years that you are uh, on tour, creating stuff. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> I, uh, uh, I I think about Tom Araya from Slayer. Yeah. Who was tired? Who yeah. Need to retire? Can you imagine uh, Adze to to make the same? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like, like my, my daughter's 19, and when I argue with her, she's like, what are you, 14? So I, I feel like I, I, my attitude is young still, and I feel like, um, you know, as long as I feel like that, I always want to play heavy shit and just, you know, just keep being metal. And I think that's a lot of it, just the attitude, you know. Yeah. How do you manage to, you know, to maybe become more stable? Can you say that? You know, I think after we wrote The Gathering, we kind of found a new sound, but not trying to recreate like the older stuff, but more of a modern kind of stuff, more heavy, tuning down a little bit. Um, and then we just kind of stuck with that a little bit. And I think it kind of works, you know. The Gathering a was a super masterpiece, and the yeah, beginning of uh, the beginning of uh, the adventure with uh, Steve DiGiorgio, right? Yeah, yeah, Steve DiGiorgio, and then Lombardo, but he was like very short-lived with Testament, and then he also was on this this last tour, you know, the the two last tours we had, and I just seen him like two hours ago, and he ran in our room and he saw, "Where's the set list? Where's the set list?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Okay." Free hug. <laughs> good. He's and now good there guy. is a new drummer, Chris Dovas, right? Chris Dovas, yeah. How, where do you find him? So Chris Dovas, okay, when we were auditioning for new drummers, um, his videotape was the number one for me. And then, uh, of course, uh, Dave Lombardo called us. So we just kind of pushed everything to the side. We said, okay, let's, we'll try Dave. And uh, when Dave was like, oh, I got this show coming up, I got this show coming up, I went back to my... Oh yeah, this guy. And uh, I remember the other guys going, let's call Bo Paul Bostoff, let's call John Tempesta. And of course, they would probably do it, but with the stipulation of like, I can only do this date, I can only do this date. I called Chris, he's like, I'm in. I'll do everything. And so we tried him and fuck, we were just like, what? Perfect tempo, everything correct, bam, bam, you know, just very polite, really, really nice guy. I mean, I can't say enough good things about him. He's just a really good drummer. Um, he's 24, he's my son's age. So, um, yeah, it's just, you know, young blood, back in Testament. And, um, I mean, he, you know, for me too, he loves black metal. So he's like blast beats, but also, he also graduated from a uh, school called Berkeley. So jazz and all that, he's very fluent. And he's not like, oh, I only know blast beats. I mean, he knows blues and... Jazz stuff. So yeah, I mean, Testament's really diverse. We have ballads, we have rock songs, we have blast beats. And um, that's just it. When he came to visit me before this tour, we were rehearsing for the tour, but we would go back to my house at night, do some Jaeger, you know, really late at night, and just start jamming at my house. And we would, rec the next morning we're like, whoa, really cool shit. So I'm, I'm excited for the next record. So it's gonna, it's gonna be killer. It will release, it will, it will record the album, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you define the new songs? Fucking killer. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm a fan, so I wouldn't for me, I wouldn't release anything unless I'm like a fan of what I'm doing. You know? I mean I'm when I listen to music I want it to sound I wouldn't let anybody hear anything that I have to be excited. I have to get like, you know Goosebumps. Goosebumps. And when I hear it I'm like, yeah. And then of course I play it for, you know, friends and you know, if any of them go, eh, But most of them go, fuck. It's my guy. Except and Chuck. Chuck goes, eh. And then later he goes, yeah, that, you know, four years later, that's the best song ever. Write more shit like that. I'm like, yeah, but four years ago you said that sucked. And <laughs> sure. Um, so, <coughs> any idea where you to record the album? No. No? Um, hopefully, maybe October, November. If not, probably January, February. 
but I'm, we're shooting for this year at, at the end of the year yeah because we've got already you know I think I think I'll be done writing in September so we just have to wait for vocals and which could take a while but we'll see what happens yeah okay thank you Eric